So let's talk a bit about the design process for origami. The design process used to go in a very unorganized way, or I'll refer to this as the traditional way, and how it worked was basically you thought of something, or you had an idea for something, maybe it came to you in a dream, maybe you just saw something and you just thought, oh, maybe I should fold that. But then, once you had that idea, you tried to put it on paper, in involved a lot of experimentation, and a lot of times it just didn't work. There wasn't any real structure to it or any real procedure to it. But now, all of that is changed. Origami design has become much more mathematical. But luckily, we can have computers do that for us. <clears throat> the procedure has become a lot more a lot more specific and basically it starts with thinking of the model that you're going to make. In my case right here for this example I'm going to make a turtle and this is a pretty crude drawing of a turtle but it works for this example. Also explains why I don't do drawing. Uh, once you have this drawing of a turtle we need to identify several critical points on the turtle and <clears throat> those critical points are just going to be places where the model ends in some sort of tip and there are six on this model, the four fins, the tail, and the head. What we need to do with these critical points is make a tree out of them. And what I'm doing here is I'm just connecting them all to the main stick, which is just the head to the tail. Then what we do is we'll isolate the tree so that we'll get something like this. All right, now we need to put this onto a square sheet of paper. And for this model, this turtle example, I'll just set the body, the main axis, to be a diagonal of the square like this. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll have the front flippers be the front corners, and then the back flippers will just be somewhere along the edge. Now, normally, from here, you'd have to have a lot of calculus and math and things like integrals and optimization and things like derivatives. Luckily, though, we don't need any of that. We can have a computer do it all for us. Right here, I have this program. It's called Tree Maker. And basically what this does is it does the hard work for us once we put in a tree. So. How do we use Tree Maker? Well, first of all, we'll just put uh, when we click the paper or the square, it'll put this weird circle like thing, and this is what we call a node. Once uh, we can also move around the mouse and make another node, and it will automatically connect the two nodes for us. And you can see this one is selected, meaning that the next node we click is going to be based off of this node right here. So what I'm going to do now is make the crease pattern from the last video, which is a turtle. So I need that right there. And then this right here, you can see that. Uh, it, and because I connected it to, uh, to node three, it just connected it right there with a straight line. We don't really want that, but luckily we can undo it. And we'll select node 1 and base node 4 off of that. Then off of node 1, we will get the flippers. And we can move to node 2 along the diagonal as well. And then from node 2, we'll just make some flippers like so. And that is our tree. Now... What we need to do with this tree is we can just go straight to build crease pattern, but we'd get an error. So what we should do is rather than going straight to making the crease pattern, what we need to do is we need to go to under action and scale everything. And this maximizes and this optimizes the scale of the crease pattern that we've put in so that the circles you can see here are uh, can be maximized. All right, now what we want to do is, uh, because this is pretty symmetrical already, we'll just build our crease pattern off of this. We'll get another error, 
Nope, because uh, we'll get another error probably because our mo our crease pattern isn't all too symmetrical yet. You can fix that by uh, still dragging the nodes around, uh, s selecting certain ones and scaling them individually. But if we go into view and go into creases view, then we'll get the crease pattern for our model. And right here you can see it doesn't look... It, it, doesn't look that much of a, of a model. It doesn't look like a turtle that much, but if we printed this out, we'd get a base from which we can make a turtle. And this makes origami design a lot easier, and generally it allows for origami artists to pump out designs a lot faster and with a lot more mathematical accuracy than ever thought possible. So that is how the design process works from you know, thinking of an idea to actually making the crease pattern. Now, this crease pattern, you have to understand, is not the crease pattern for a finished model. It's the crease pattern for a base because crease patterns can't have enough detail in order to accommodate for details such as eyes or scales or things like that. Those you have to add on yourself, but once you have the base, you're free to add in your own creative expression to the piece, make it your own, so that you can have your own origami turtle. And I'll probably print out this design and show you what it looks like. So I printed out the crease pattern we developed in TreeMaker and folded it into the base that it produced. And you can actually see it actually came out with some sort of a base. And if we open it up a bit, you can actually see that it models the tree kind of well with our head, the two front flippers, the two back flippers, and the tail. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to see what I can do to turn this into more of a turtle because as you can see it does not look like a turtle very much at all so that's the first element of business and the second thing is probably in other repetitions I'd alter the tree to make the front flippers much smaller like these are very big and tree maker design is not like one try and you get it all correct. It does take practice and time and you're probably not going to get it right on the first try. A little longer than a few minutes later. And here we go. Here is the turtle that I made out of the base. And you can see that even though it looks good from the top, uh, on the bottom I had to do quite a bit of work. It doesn't look that good, so if I were to present it, I would definitely uh, keep it on the top. And <clears throat> you can tell that from the base to this finished model, there's actually quite a bit of work that goes into it. And it's uh, something that's basically open up to your creative liberty and what you want to do with the model that you so choose or how you imagine a turtle to be. Um, different people may fold it differently. But yeah, that is how to use TreeMaker to get a simple design in a little amount of time. I mean, I folded this in under 15 minutes from nothing, and even though it's definitely not the best turtle design around, I've seen and folded much better ones. Uh, it's definitely great as a proof of concept that TreeMaker can be used to create origami designs very quickly, and they actually turn out being okay. So that is how you design a model from start to finish using the modern method and with a bit of computer power.